Good day, kids. How are you? I hope that you're feeling great. I am Sir Kim, and welcome to our math class. Last week, pinag-aralan natin ang determining the missing term. This week, we'll be studying about visualizing, measuring, and solving the perimeter of any given plane figure. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to visualize the perimeter of any given plane figure in different situations. Measure the perimeter of any given figure using appropriate tools. And find the perimeter of triangles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Ano nga ba ang perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around an object. To determine the perimeter of any plane figure, i-add lang natin lahat ng sides nito. Para ma-visualize natin ang perimeter, tignan natin itong rectangle na ito. Lagyan natin ng lines ang palibot ng rectangle. Bawat line represents one unit. Dito sa rectangle na ito ay may total na 14 lines. So we can say that the perimeter of this rectangle is 14 units. To measure and solve the perimeter, meron tayong ginagamit na measuring tools, gaya ng ruler at pwede ring meter stick. I-try natin gumamit ng ruler dito sa triangle. Sukatin natin ang bawat sides. Sa pagkuha ng perimeter, i-add lang natin ang mga sides. Since ang triangle ay may 3 sides, ang formula natin ay perimeter equals side plus side plus side. Bawat side na sinukat natin kanina ay 4 cm. So, i-substitute lang natin ang mga na-measure nating value kanina, which is 4 cm. P equals 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm. Ang perimeter ng triangle ay 12 cm. Another example. Let us measure the perimeter of this signage. Sukatin mo natin ang bawat sides. Since it has 4 sides, same lang sa formula na ginamit natin kanina. Perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side. Substitute lang natin yung value. Ang nasukat natin kanina ay 6 cm at 4 cm. Kaya, P equals 6 cm plus 6 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm. Ang perimeter ng signage ay 20 cm. Isa pang example, meron tayo ditong pentagon. Meron itong 5 sides, kaya ang formula na gagamitin natin ay perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side plus side. Then, isubstitute natin ang given. 8 cm plus 10 cm plus 7 cm plus 10 cm plus 8 cm. Ang perimeter ng pentagon ay 43 centimeters. Ngayon, ay pwede na tayong magsagot ng mga learning tasks. Learning task number one. Show the perimeter of each object by highlighting the sides and measuring the sides using a ruler. So sa activity na to, gagamit tayo ng ruler. At parang doon sa unang-una nating example, lalagyan natin ng highlight o ng line ang kanyang mga sides. Learning task number two. Count the number of units to determine the perimeter of each figure. Write your answer inside each figure. So same to dun sa unang unate example. Bilangin lang ilan yung lines, then madedetermine natin ilang units ang perimeter ng bawat shape. Let us remember na ang perimeter is the total length around the object. Galing ito sa Greek word na peri na ang ibig sabihin ay around at metron na ang ibig sabihin ay measure. Sa pagkuha ng measurement ng 
perimeter ng maliit na shapes, gumagamit tayo ng ruler. Pag malaki naman, ay meter stick. Tandaan lang natin sa pagkuha ng perimeter ay i-add lang natin ang mga sides. For example, itong square na to, bawat sides ay 8 meters. Sa pagkuha ng perimeter ng square, i-add lang natin lahat ng sides. Pag in natin, ang 8 meters plus 8 meters plus 8 meters plus 8 meters, makukuha natin ay 32 meters. Learning task number 3. Matching type. Identify what is referred to column A with the terms in column B. Learning task number 4. Find the perimeter of the following. Write your answer inside the figure. And for our final learning task, draw, label, and find the perimeter of the following. Sana ay naunawaan mo ang lesson natin about perimeter. See you next week dito lang sa ating math class.